Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Keurig K Mini Plus. This Keurig comes in black and red. If you want to get this Keurig, I'll put a link in the description below. I've also reviewed the Keurig K Mini, and if you want to see that review, I'll put a link in the description below. The unit is 12 inches tall, just four and a half inches wide, about 11 inches deep, and weighs five pounds. It comes with a K-cup pot holder that's removable. This holds nine pods. The drip tray is removable and holds eight ounces of overflow. You can fit a six inch mug. With the drip tray removed, you can fit a seven inch mug. The cord length is about 24 inches. There is cord storage in the back of the unit, so it's easy to transport. The water reservoir holds 12 ounces. You can fill a minimum of six ounces or a maximum of 12 ounces. It's removable for cleaning. Just rinse it out and if you want to dry the inside, use a lint-free cloth. The amount of water you put in the reservoir is the amount of water that's going to end up in your cup. The unit brews the entire amount, so you can brew one cup at a time. There's no cup size setting. There's a power button and the brew button, which is the big K in the middle, indicator light, and a strong button if you want a stronger cup of coffee. The unit takes more time to brew to give you that stronger cup. The pot holder sits straight, unlike most Keurigs where it sits at an angle. You can brew coffee, tea, hot cocoa, or use your own ground coffee in the Keurig filter. To use the Keurig filter, push the pot holder from the bottom, remove it, and put the filter in. When you're done brewing, put the pot holder back to use K-cups. When you first get the unit, run a cycle with just water to clean it. Pour in eight ounces of water, plug in the unit, put a mug on the tray, press the power button, lift and lower the handle, don't put a pot in. You'll see the light flashing, press the brew button, the light will be solid. The light will pulse when the unit is heating. It'll take about two minutes. After two minutes, the light will be solid and dispense water. Both the Keurig Mini and Keurig Mini Plus are louder than other Keurigs I've reviewed. I'll discard the water and brew a cup of coffee. I'll brew an 8-ounce cup of coffee. Pour in 8 ounces of water. Press power. Open the lid. Put a pot in. Close the lid. The light will be flashing. Just press the brew button. It took just about two minutes to brew from start to finish. It's about 165, 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Coffee tastes good, pretty much the same as other Keurigs. There is an auto off feature. The unit turns off 90 seconds after the last brew. When you finish brewing, remove the pod. Push up on the holder, remove it and rinse it out. You can pull off the bottom part of the pod holder for cleaning. And it just snaps back in place. Rinse out the drip tray and dry. The water reservoir can be removed, rinsed out and dried with a lint-free cloth. Wipe the outside with a damp cloth. If you want to get this Keurig, I'll put a link in the description below. The size makes it perfect for smaller kitchens, your office, and even a guest room. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.